So guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and as you can see, this gargantuan beast behind me, we are here on our Dino Soaking series, and we are up to the Brontosaurus. Now, what I will say is the mighty have fallen very, very hard. We'll talk about why in a second here, but you know, to each their own. So, if you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind leaving a like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. This guy's about to go into mad combat for you, specifically the viewer. And, well, I mean, yes, but I, I would appreciate it if you would give me a subscribe and a like, because, I, I mean, if you're not liking it, then don't. But if you are, I really would appreciate that. Uh, trying pretty hard to get some content you guys enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and continue then. Sorry for that little plug. Now, the one of the benefits about the Brontosaurus is you can put yourself a box on the Bronto that prevents you from getting picked. And there's lots of ways to build boxes. You can build a larger style box. You don't have to, but you can. And um, this is just one I've seen done before. Uh, I'll show you how to do it here. And basically what you do is you build an exterior wall. You build an interior wall. So that way, in case somebody does break in uh, or someone shoots rockets at you, you've got secondary ways to defend yourself i think is a good way to put it and then i mean i'm just gonna be honest with you i don't ever use this kind of stuff it's just that's what people tend to do all right so that's i mean you can obviously see how you make another box outside of that and you get bigger and bigger and bigger and so on and so forth but you don't have to so when you are inside that box though you are defended which is quite nice which is one of the benefits about using these box based soakers um, but that's, you know, kind of how it is. And then you hop off and you're inside the safety of your box. Now I'm going to drop these things because they weigh a lot and my character is not a weight character. And we're going to go ahead and show you how much damage this guy takes. So mine is being probably one of the slowest things. And you know, I'm just going to demolish this because it's hard to see over the top of it when I'm not in K mode. Demolish. Demolish. Of course, it's like, yo, we're super heavy, so we're going to make you weigh down. Okay, demolish. Should be all of it, right? There it goes. Yes, now the hard stuff is easy to see around. Okay, so now what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test this guy. I'm just going to like slowly move into the range of the plant species X because it's going to take me nine years to escape it. There it goes. So it does take 16 damage. Now, normal damage, just so you know, is 18 so he appears to take a slightly reduced damage modifier from that, which is quite nice. Um, so two additional lower, but nothing that's like, oh my goodness, I need to use this. It used to be the case where this guy took reduced damage, and however, they, they've changed that quite greatly, unfortunately for us. I'm going to have to, you know, get rid of these things over here. See ya. Bye. Okay, so there's the stego. Bronto, come on now. How is this Bronto still alive? I don't understand. It's almost dead. What level is this thing? My goodness. I guess it is a high level. See ya. Oh, I just got launched. That's cool. Alright. Well, oh well. So let's go ahead and test this guy out versus the other turrets of the game. Come on now. Seriously? That's frustrating. Okay. So, this right here is the auto turret. It is hard to turn this guy, just so you know, so I apologize. I was trying to do it with like a side swipe, but obviously that's not happening. We'll do like a circle instead. How much damage does he take from the auto turret? So he takes 59 damage from the auto turret, which is full damage. But again, with the Bronto, you're not looking at a reduction in damage. You're just looking at that massive amount of health they're capable of having. And you're trying to... Um, soak as much as possible so that's that's that massive health stat we're talking about so he does take full damage from that tech turret as well we're going to go ahead and move nice and close to him so we can take that damage 375 damage but that's quite a lot of damage that's pretty that's pretty high damage so we're going to go ahead and keep moving here and we're going to go ahead and take damage from this guy right here 154 so he does appear to take reduced damage from the heavy auto that's nice uh heavy auto should be doing like 356 i want to say is full damage but 154 is reduced so you can't complain about that that's pretty nice 154 damage and if you have a high level one of these things you can have a hundred thousand so that's quite a bit of soaking and especially with a good saddle you can probably take quite a bit of damage from that um, it's just one of those things and how it works with this guy. So the Bronto can be quite useful for that effect. 
All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get on our other Bronto and do our wall charge, like always. And let's check it out. So the Brontosaurus, pretty average. I mean, this is actually below average health starting point of about 10k. Usually you can get them into the 14, 15,000 health range, and that can be quite useful. They can make great base defenses as like turret mode because they'll launch things off the edge and just weigh them down. Um, but pretty normal to get them up to about 52k health. Uh, what I will say though, this is very low compared to what we've had from the Diplo and the Racer. So uh, it's about on par with the Racer in regards to how much damage it can take. And it, it, this is not going to go well. And the funny thing is, in Ark, this guy used to be the only thing that you wanted to use. He was kind of like the, the end-all, be-all of justice and death-dealing power. And obviously that's not the case anymore because, well, you're about to see why. It's just, it's not even close to how it used to be. It doesn't take any time at all to shred these guys anymore. Which is so sad because they used to be so powerful. They used to be something that was just a genuine death dealer. The one thing that the Bronto can be used for, however, see how much he blocks? And I'll show you with the other one up close here. But you can basically hide behind him up until close range. So if you can get a Bronto close enough to this turret wall, you can like sit on this corner right here and shoot rockets to destroy these things, which it's a very, very commonly used raid technique that people don't remember to use, which is kind of unfortunate because it really is OP. You literally just have to sit on the backside of a tame that's dead and you can just like rocket everything to death. Um, so you're just blocking the maximized amount of stuff. And it's a very common raid technique. That's about the only thing the Bronto has been used for recently, in my opinion. Um, but that's my personal opinion. So this one's up to 118,000 health, which is very low compared to what we've tested. Come on now, big guy. What a turn. What a turn. So in my opinion, the Diplodocus is basically a super good version of this. The only thing better about the Bronto is it can block the damage with these uh, metal floors that I have, you know, developed. But that's that. I'm going to get rid of them anyway, so it's not like it matters at all. So... We're going to go ahead and charge full steam. I have a feeling that this guy's going to probably, of all of the soakers, be the worst by far. Because I think that, well, there's just not a point in having other things, for lack of a better word. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and full charge here. Um, this guy is going to do his best, but I don't think it's going to end very well. He's trying, but, oh yeah, he's getting shredded. Absolute shred fest. 231, 375, that wasn't even close. But let me show you why it's useful. So see how I was able to get these uh, this Bronto right up against that wall, literally covering a lot of these turrets right here? What you can do, and this is a great way to raid people that is underused in my opinion, you can use him as a line of sight blocker for turrets. So if I can get right here, all I gotta do is go in this corner, shoot a rocket, shoot a rocket, shoot a rocket. And if the rockets will eventually get close enough right here, they will quite literally blow up these turrets. And you just work slowly from left to right, or if you want to go on the other side, I'll show you what that looks like right now. You basically sit here, shoot a rocket, and then go right to left. Now, another thing that I've seen much less common, but you climb on the back of this guy with C4 strapped to yourself, and uh, you kind of stay low because you're basically just line of sighting these things. And you just get nice and close and boom, you blow it all up. Now, I've seen this done once or twice. It's not very common. Uh, it does happen, though. If you can find a way to get like three or four of these guys right up against this wall right here, it's over. There's nothing that uh, these people are going to be able to do because you can just blow stuff up close range. Now, yes, it does require sacrificing a tame. And you're probably going to have to have a brontosaurus with some decent health. But it's probably worth it in all reality because you're wasting much less time, which is big time. And uh, that's kind of, you know, a good thing. In my opinion, it is at least. So let's go ahead and clean this crew up and I'll show you, uh, I guess that that's really ranking wise. Let's just rank these things because, you know, I, I just feel like the Bronto used to be the king of raids and now it's not. It's just, it, 
it's not worth it anymore, in all honesty. The Bronto is just something that uh, it, it can no longer handle its own. It used to have a high health stat, stupid high saddle stat, and they've just nerfed it beyond all belief, basically making it so it's really only valuable now for gathering berries. That's about the only thing, or even wood sometimes, I guess. Um, but that's that. So if you've got another soaker, which you can do, this is not a soaker, obviously. You can literally run up the backside or around the side of this thing, get it nice and close right here, and make it go boom. So it's a suicide run, basically. But uh, you could quite easily just shred most of the stuff, because look how much turrets are being blocked right now. I'm only being shot by a couple. And it's easier to soak a couple of turrets than it is to soak a ton. Um, but that's, you know, my personal opinion, so take that as you will. So the, uh, the Brontosaurus used to be super OP, no longer is, and that's sad because it used to be a tame that everyone had and everyone was raising, but not anymore. Now it's kind of just used for base defense, so. Alright, anyways, hope you enjoyed that little video, and next up is the Titanosaur. Teach this game too. Ow.